I was in eighth grade, I was applying to schools in the area, mostly public schools, a couple private day schools, and kind of was thinking about it, and I was like, you know, it might be fun to be able to like leave the home, kind of be on my own. Maybe I'll check out this Woodbury Forest School. What I remember is going on my prospective visit and staying overnight, and it was kind of like my first time really away from my parents. And I'd gone to camps and things like that, but this felt very different because everyone I was with was my age, but there was also an element of independence that I really appreciated and sought out. Um, of course, there are people in the dorm and people in the classroom, you know, supervising people, and I could tell that, you know, there were some rules in place, but it also felt like there was a lot of freedom um, at certain times, you know, in between meals, in between classes, and I thought that was a, a pretty cool aspect. Additionally, I remember going to the classes and just being like impressed, like up until that point I had gone to all public schools, my average class size was probably anywhere from 25 to 35, and I remember going to an English class and it was like seven people, and that was, I was just like, is this it? Like I was like, I thought I was in like the wrong place or that class had ended, so um, something about that just struck me and I thought, oh wow, like they really must, you know, give you more attention, um, a better aspect of education than what I was getting before. I remember trying to decide between, you know, Woodbury and another public school in my area, and something just felt right. When I initially got to Woodbury, I think I was probably, people would describe me as pretty quiet. Um, it was a culture shock for me in many ways. I grew up in a suburban, kind of like the standard suburban area, but close to a large metropolitan area in Washington, D.C., and was just taken aback by the rural environment in Woodbury. A week into school, um, was playing with the freshman football team. We had a scrimmage and unfortunately I actually broke my leg during the scrimmage. Paul Huber had stopped by my dorm room to help me catch up. I was taking French because I had taken French in middle school. And he actually came by my room one time to administer a test um, for one of my classes to help me catch up. And I thought, you know, it reminded me of the reasons why I went there in the first place, this, this personal attention that you just won't really see in any other school, and it's a, an impression that always lasts with me. Going into Woodbury, um, my academic interests were always math and science. I never really had a curiosity in English or political science or history, and once I got to Woodbury, particularly going into um, some of the later years, um, there's just like a lot of amazing people that teach those disciplines, and by the time I left, I found that the classes I enjoyed the most were kind of like, you know, English 600 and history, U.S. history, the discussions that we had there, particularly because we had the smaller class size, um, you know, we were often able to get into debates or discuss things in depth. And I think the area where I grew the most was probably in the humanities, the liberal arts, and that kind of influenced actually the college that I chose. The thing that I appreciate the most from Woodbury is learning to be independent and learning how to kind of like manage your time without someone at home telling you, you need to do this now. Um, you need to you know, manage your time between sports and homework. You need to make sure your bed's clean. All of that kind of burden is on you now. And if you don't keep up, then either your grades suffer or you get demerits. You actually feel the impact real time. Whereas at home, you know, like maybe you know, your parents give you, you know, a break one day or you don't necessarily see the direct impact if you're kind of you know, slacking on certain areas of Woodbury that that actually returns kind of directly in your face and it'll make you change your behavior as a result. I remember when I was applying, you know, I, I thought kind of, I didn't really invest too much because I thought it'd be too expensive for my parents and wouldn't be a realistic thing and it was kind of a pipe dream, but financial aid made that a possibility for my family and for many other families and, you know, a lot of students are able to benefit from that and thrive in an environment that they wouldn't otherwise and, you know, it's to Woodbury's credit that you know, they use their resources to attract students from different areas, different backgrounds, different walks of life um, to enhance themselves and also enhance the Woodbury community. The relationships that I formed at Woodbury are unlike any other relationships that I have and unlike any other friendships that I have. Having people who are going through the same experience with you in that environment where oftentimes you feel like, you know, you're pushed to the brink or you're tired or you know, you feel like you wish you were at home, or you wish you had more freedom. Um, there was a lot of catharsis talking with your classmates, your people you spend every night on the dorm with. And uh, I feel like we helped each other get through the four years. We helped each other enjoy the four years. And um, pretty much everyone that I attended Woodbury with in my class, you know, I'm keeping in touch with to some degree. And there are a lot of friends that I have that are lifelong friends. And 
whether I keep in touch with them daily or pick up after a year, um, it feels like we're still back at Woodbury. And I've made many friends obviously since then, but the friendships that I make, even the friendships with a lot of depth, it never kind of reaches that same degree as when you live with someone for four years and you play sports with them, you study with them, you go to mixers with them, you have meals with them. Um, it's kind of a, an awesome experience and it's like having a, a new sibling and being in summer camp year-round. So it's, it's always the people that uh, I look back to and those are the experiences that I, I keep with me. Mm -hmm.